Hey the folks, this is GreenyXI, welcome right back to Let's Play Danganronpa, this is episode 8. In the last episode, we had our second death, and we started in, uh, in Junko, because she didn't pay attention to the school regulations and all that, which was, um, get in for me. I always liked her as a character. But, we also started the investigation routine for the murder of Saka, so let's get going. It's said that we can leave the room now, so let's get out, and we need to find a few places where maybe people might have an idea of some more clues. So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you were the culprit? Got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. He seems blunt. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death when you say, huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms. What a twat! You don't say that to someone. She's dead because of me? Then, it should have been me that died? Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... Oh... Don't like that. <laughs> Hello, Leon. Like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't st stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? The nameplate, you say? Oh, they've been switched. This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Oh. Alright, let's check out as well then. It's quite tough to turn sometimes in this game. This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. The nameplates of my room and Sayaka's room were switched. So all the effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Storm nameplates. It's a good... It's a good little truth bullet to have. Very strange. Mr. Nagy, what was Miss Maizuno doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Okay, he has nothing important to say then. So far, it's just a bit of comic relief, I guess. Right, trash room. They keep mentioning that. I guess it was quite important what he said then, hinting towards coming here. I don't know. But anyways, you're not getting through there. Massive barrier, you know. Camera looking in. Usual monitor. What is this? What? You know what it is. Shut up. Switch for the barrier, probably. I wonder what it does. Oh, nice. <laughs> Down here. Weird little trapdoor thing. It's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. You must be locked. Another coin. Bloody hell. Get a couple, yeah? More importantly, the barrier. It's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. It's the end of the line! The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How'd you get this gate open? No, no, no. no. Why aren't you beyond this point? Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no. Why not you beyond this point? Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no. You can't go any further. <laughs> okay. This is stupid. Be faster just to go around and ask the others. No, no. You can't go any further. He's... Yeah, he's just repeating himself. Cleaning duty. Sorted. That's all we're getting out of there. I would say. We don't even know who was on cleaning duty though. I haven't heard anything about it. Right. Where should we head to next? I don't know. Um. Oh yeah, they said about Chihiro asking her a question, so... Let's check out the map. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. We've been to both those rooms. What's that one? Dining hall. Okay, we'll go there. Actually, yeah, let's go there now. We're right by it, so, you know, <laughs> might as well. Where else would he find a knife, you know? Let's talk to her first. Hina, are you investigating in the dining hall? Mm. Oh, no. I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know why, but being in a dining hall helps me keep calm. So I know I shouldn't. But I've just been kind of hanging around here. Tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayako was killed. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to her again. Okay. Did we examine things in this room before? I know it's not exactly the best time in the world to be doing it. But if we just skip through it a bit, we know what these cameras say every time. Pretty much the same thing. Nice, a coin. Right, okay. 
let's just try it one more time. Nope, doesn't seem to be anything else going on yet. Let's go into the back room then. The kitchen. Okay, there's plenty of... I was going to say there's plenty of things that you should be able to examine here, but it doesn't look like there's that many. Bit of meat. Can I have some meat? It reminds me of The Shining, when uh, they go into the massive kitchen with tons of food, because, you know, they're staying there to look after the hotel for the winter. <laughs> tons of food. Oh no, don't leave. No. God no. Peppers and carrots and stuff. Yeah, let's have a look at them. A bunch of veg. Don't see anything noteworthy about it, any of it. Except for a coin. Camera, and then we'll look at what's standing out over there. Here we go. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or I don't know? Let's see if anyone here knows more about it. Okay. It calls her Hina, and I'm very confused about that because there's no name, so it's I are we? Are, are you? Oh god, I don't know. Did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. So it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope, that's remember they were all lined up in a nice neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, well I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there. When I finished my tea I went back into the kitchen to wash my glass. One of the knives were gone. Is it saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. And you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Aya's account. I know I'm saying that name wrong, I... sorry. <laughs> By the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not, I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Oh, she was killed in your room, right? So I mean... You guys are supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Fair enough. Okay, that's all we want from you then. But where could she he... Ah, uh, yeah. Where could our programmer be? We need her. We've seen everyone else. It must be on the second floor somewhere, yeah? Not second floor. Mm. Right. You know what I mean. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Mm. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen he probably realised I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. So on cleaning duty now? That's Actually, cool. no. Okay then, who is? <laughs> if me was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Indeed. We will swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you. Okay, so that's good to know. Don't want to go in there. Uh, anything around here? Oh, the gym. Maybe someone will be in the gym. Oh, they were looking over Junko, wasn't they? Keeping an order. So, yeah, this is where we want to go. I forgot about that. Right. Yeah. We need you. Hey, Chihiro. I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? What is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what those numbers might mean? Like, could there be a code or something? Mm. Uh -uh. Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm I just sorry. don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. Look at her. She can be evil. <laughs> Uh, no way, I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you. Alright, oh, it's just saying that again. Let's talk to her again, just in case. I don't want to leave and, you know. No, it's the same thing. Uh, oh, yeah, we wanted to check out the videotape, didn't we? That Sayaka had. So maybe the rec room is where we want to go next. The AV room, sorry. Is that considered a rec room of a kind? I, I don't know. Let's have a look then. Oh, where's it? Too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had the map up and everything, and I couldn't figure out where it was. 
I love the investigation music in this game. The trumpet, or sax, everything, everything. It wouldn't be you though, would it? It would be in Sayaka's room. Because we saw it in the bin. I wish we could... Oh, we can teleport now, we just couldn't before. Oh. Okay. Uh... Who's that? Oh, we haven't spoken to her yet. Okay, let's try that out. I don't know if we need to or not, but we better add. I can't... I can't. <laughs> it's so fiddly. Right, in here, is it? This blackboard belongs to us now. <laughs> Examine some crap first. Clock, okay, might be there. Another clock with no hands, is that just me? Maybe it's meant to be the shine on the clock makes it look like there's no hands. Because on the Vita version, smaller screen and everything. Maybe. Okay. Toko, can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? Like I know anything about that. Taka's the one who cares about stupid organizational stuff like that. Ah, that's a point. We need to go and talk to Hifumi. So if I go to the map and try and find him, we might have seen him already. I think we did. I haven't spoken to Celeste yet. I won't mind doing that first. That's a point. I forgot we haven't been in this room. Hey Celeste, do you know anything about this cleaning duty stuff? Huh? What is that? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe you should ask Taka or someone else. Anyone but me, really. What is cleaning? I'm a maid. What is cleaning? Uh, Hifumi we need to see, don't we? Hifumi, is that the big block? Is it the uh, fanfic or is it the clairvoyant? I told you, my... Yeah. Hmm. Ah, it is him. I thought so, but I couldn't think. As a matter of fact, that's me. Why'd you ask? It just so happens Manakuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room? Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. I was going to get, go into all that trouble. And not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want. That does seem more convenient, so in actually. Other... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they're discovered. It might be something to do with that, yeah. So that's... That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, hey fatty, why do you want to... Why do you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, I just said oh, the volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's a big deal? You... Liar. I know why you did it. Is it you want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around with it. Ugh, poof. No <laughs> what are you talking about? All oh, my love is for say. 2D. You know what I mean. There's all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe I'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. So worried about the Fumi's questionable morality? There's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has clean duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. Hey. What? what? If it's instant as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, another topic. Fumi, since you're on clean duty, I have a favour to ask you. So now you suddenly want to join my party. Sorry, but you haven't triggered the flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Yes. Oh, okay. So easy. So Hifumi and he I headed to headed down to the trash room. Okay, we can have a proper look around now. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Vita, they found themselves a way out. 
Whatever, please just hurry. Is that Shawshank Redemption? Or is this something else? <laughs> Fumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Okay. However, Mr. Naegi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along! No. Just want to see if the actual killer tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind? Maybe a parallel world? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and keep, keep looking. I saw blue. How's that? <laughs> That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can't burn? Whatever it's for, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. Whoop whoop. We got loads of coins now. It's starting to build up a bit. Okay, let's have a look at this first. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. Looks like it's used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Hmm. Is that... Do you know what it is? They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big big city street corner. Gaze into it and I'll show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who's on that quest to find that one guy. Uh-huh. I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. If she all get still be in the gym, I'd better go find out for sure. Shattered crystal ball. Mm-hmm. The psychic. Okay. What about the sleeve? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? <laughs> anyway, this is... Looks like a piece of cloth. And the shape? Part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff. Which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are pe lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Okay, burnt shirt piece. Good to know. Anything else? The button and the compactor itself. We'll go for the button first. A green button and a yellow button. Yellow? Hmm, okay. It's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. Yeah. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back, part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Uh, I'll just say yes. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? <laughs> Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange, I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi, do you realise what you just said? A fairy? No, you said that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Yes, about that there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. Yesterday, <laughs> as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. Definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet. So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how's that possible? Incinerator. Good to know. This whole thing's quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. What's it all mean, Mr. Naegi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Okie doke, so there's one more thing that I can think of that we haven't done, and that is heading back to the gym to check out Mr. Clairvoyant, Clairvoyant himself. <laughs> yeah, nearly there. Like I said, pop-up effect is nice, but it can drag it out a bit. Hey, Harry. Hi, Will. Can I ask you something? No, 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 no. i got to get out of here. got to get out now. I've had enough. got to break free. I will snap out of it. Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Does this look familiar? Oh, that's my crystal wall. But it's all smashed. What the hell? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. How'd he break? <laughs> it's actually just made of glass and not crystal. But that guy totally duped me. He said it belonged to the Pillars of History. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. Yeah. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all bullshit? Let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball has been updated. It's got a description on each one. Thanks, Iroh. That's all I wanted to know. Sure. 
By the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. Came to be like a million. Uh, bullshit. Pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too... too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <laughs> laundry room, he said. Okay. I can't quite remember where the laundry room is. So... I think this might be it. Laundry, yeah. Teleporting's really handy. I didn't make use of it before. There's no 180 degree turn, which is a bit annoying. Okay, here we go. What is there to check? Um, could be in one of the washing machines, I guess. I'm just going to quickly skip through them all. Until we find the one we need, if it is what we need to do. Hmm. No, that's, that's about it. Don't know what to do now. Maybe go back to our room. Oh, wait, yeah, the video in Sayaka's room. Or, you know, our room. <laughs> However you look at it. But yeah, Sayaka's room. Turn it. In my app. It keeps saying video as DVD. I'm sure my age. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. Well, to be fair, same video in this. It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. Okay. Do I actually need to pick it up, or... Okay. Let's go to the AV room now. AV room just in a term in Britain, I don't think. I've never heard it anyway. Right, the exclamation mark below. We'll go there. This is an interesting bit actually, seeing what made her need to escape and go mad and everything. Let's use it. The DVD that Saka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage front and centre was a face I recognised all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with a friend she'd said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. Suddenly the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Sayaka disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed, even more than that, was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight for Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here is the billion dollar question. What, oh what, could have caused the group to go to pieces? Hmm. Yeah, graduate to find out. <laughs> Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? It was a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? I think we're done. I think we've done all the investigating we're going to be doing. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, 
Allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Okay, we saw it before. We couldn't go through it because it was all rickety and crap. Now we can. The class trailer is so good. I love them. You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. Yeah, to be fair, we're always late. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced they did it, but... He's gonna have to prove otherwise. I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> is everyone here? Okay then, please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fate will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. <laughs> okay, here we go in. I don't know if there'll be coins in here. It's pretty anticlimactic to even be searching. <laughs> no, it's not letting us. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Welcome. Let's begin. Yes, Good idea. Hey. All they say is stuff like, how could you do it all? You know, you know some along those lines if you talk to them, but I think, anyway. It's up to you to uncover the mysterious surround the mysteries surrounding the case itself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor, honor, as we all find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed, and the elevator started to move. Here we go. Steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh. Rather than that, it's not more than the defendant waiting to receive his judgement. Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Like Silent Hill style. Silent Hill 3 style. In the mall. <laughs> and there we have it. The class trial. I think there's a save point before you actually get started, but I want to end things off here just in case. What's going to happen in the next episode or two, however long the class trial goes on for, probably two, there won't be much commentary from me, because the majority of it is voice acted. All I'll do is introduce the episodes, end them off, and I might say a bit more if, yeah, when the tutorials pop up, I'll say a little bit here and there, just to explain how it happens, even if it says on screen, I'll, I'll just say it quick, I think. And, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to say what... what they say, what Makoto says, in his own head kind of thing. Maybe it makes sense to do that, so at least I'm still around. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Greeny XI, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching our little investigation. I'll see you again in a bit, when we try and figure out who the killer is out of everyone standing in front of us. See you again in a bit, folks!